Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to show you a project that I've uh, been working on. Uh, I, I've had this completed for some time now, but I have just hesitated to make a, a video for it. Um, and I've had it for sale on Teachers Pay Teachers, but I've decided to also release it on Thingiverse, um, just so it reaches a wider audience. Uh, it's based on, you know, the age-old physics class um, experiment where you take a mousetrap and you try to get the car to go as, as far as you can by rigging it. Uh, in the past, you, we've, you've seen uh, balsa wood versions of this and, and various other versions, but I thought it was time to make a, a modular 3D printed one. And this one's designed on FreeCAD, and you can see some of the features of it here. And I'll walk through how it operates and, uh, and all the different parts. So, but before I tell you that, let me just tell you some things about me and where you can find this. Uh, find th things about it. Of course, on Teachers Pay Teachers, you could actually buy the model and uh, send some money my way, uh, even though it's available for free. You could do either. You can ask questions about it on Facebook, It's and you can find it at uh, facebook.com slash mousetrapcar, or you could head over to my website. My website is mathcodeprint.com, and you'll be able to find it in under the... Uh, the print printables menu. So go into print, then go into printables, and you'll find Mousetrap Car at the top of that list. So let's get into uh, what all the parts are and uh, how they fit together. So I'm going to start out with the side struts and how they fit onto the Mousetrap uh, Car. So let me uh, let me orient this to the right because I'm going to refer to this as the front of the car, where the Mousetrap sits, and this as the back of the car. So it's driven forward in, in this fashion. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to start with is I call these the struts. And uh, maybe it's the frame. I'm not sure what a great name is, but I call them the struts. So basically, those, these are set up to have fit on the side of the mousetrap. And you can see they just fit right on there. There's a little bit of clearance. So on some, on some traps, they'll be tight. And on some, they'll be a little bit loose. So you can see you can put both of them on like that. And then at this point, you can either decide to continue to assemble. As you can see, it could be hard as I dropped, like I dropped it. Um, you could glue them there if you like. Um, but if you want to be able to put this away for the year, so maybe you print these um, and you keep them on hand for your students or, or you give them out for your students. Either way, um, I've included slots for a zip tie. So you can see the zip tie just just clears the mousetrap and it can, it can go all the way around and then be used to tighten down on the mousetrap. So you, you know, you would finish going like that. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of leave that there. And then we'll talk, we'll talk next about the, uh, the axles and the wheel hub. So next I'd like to show you the axles. You can see here's, here's an axle or axle half. And then here's the other axle half. They're identical, so when you spin it around, it becomes a mirror image, and they fit together like that. Now, when you first print them, you may find that they're very smooth or very rough. Mine are kind of middle, and you may have to you may have to sand uh, you may have to sand this area here to get it to be smooth. I believe this one's been sanded, uh, and you may have to also you may also have to uh, remove any kind of extra print material. You, see, you can see I have some print material there um, from these receiving holes, axle supports, I don't know. So the axles will go in like this and they'll meet together in the middle. You can see how they interlock. I think I have two different versions. Yeah, you'll see that this one's a shorter one, but that's okay, they work, still work together. So at that point, you can, you can uh, zip tie these together and your axle will be locked into place. So you just put a zip tie in the middle, middle here. Let me stay on camera. Sorry. So once you once you zip tie it in place, that that axle is good to go. So you can see, in my case, it's kind of stiff. So sanding it is very good. Additionally, to in addition to sanding it, you may want to apply some axle. Um, some uh, I I used graphite here. So I put graphite uh, with a pencil onto the axle to make it more smooth, and that's very helpful. So the next thing I want to show you is the wheel, the wheel lug, let's call it. So the wheel axle is threaded, and also the wheel lug is also threaded. 
So you'll be able to see that this will be able to uh, thread right into the wheel axle. Now, depending on your print quality, it may be very difficult to do that. Um, on a, a good printer, you should be able to do it. It's fairly snug so that they don't become unscrewed during operation. If it's, if it's snug, if it doesn't go in, work the uh, axle in and out. It's designed to be sort of having a cutting edge right here so that it will, it will remove material. Just uh, so, And eventually, if you work it in and out, it'll become smooth. Don't avoid the temptation of putting a wrench on this. The, um, the shaft of this, uh, nut is, uh, will shear off and you'll end up with something like this. <laughs> so that's just the threads without the, uh, the hexagonal shape. So the way the, the way the wheel nut works is it fits, uh, precisely into a CD and it's a little bit snug and it will snap right in. If it's too snug and you can't get it to snap in without breaking the CD, you can use a, a knife to shave off some, some area of the CD. And at this point, the uh, CD should just screw on. And there we go. So that's how the basic assembly works. Now let's, now let's look at, uh, I'm gonna take this off so it's easier to look at, and we'll look at how, this, how the uh, snap bar um, armature goes on. So let's do that now. So I'm calling this the armature and it's the piece that goes right over top of the snap bar and you'll see that it fits. I'm going to do the side without the spring holder. You'll see that it has a groove and it fits directly over that snap bar. And you could probably get away with just using one of these if you like. Um, however, I use two. It, it, you know, it'll be harder to attach the extension, I use the pencil for the extension, you, you can use light, what you like. But you see, once you have this on the snap bar, and what you can also do is you can just dis disengage the spring to make it easier. So I've disengaged the spring, and I'm going to put my armature in place. I'm going to put it down to do this, let's see if I can get a good view. Okay, so, and what you want to do is you want to keep the, 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 um, the fastening end of the zip tie inside, so it doesn't get caught up on the wheels because it's a fairly, fairly fairly close to the CD wheels. And that, that this tip of the uh, zip tie will get caught on the CD wheels. So once you have it threaded through, it will hold the uh, armature in quite nicely. Now there's additional feature on here for, if you can, if you can get a bolt the right size, it's fairly small. And you could all, of course drill it out if you like. All right, so I'm not going to struggle with that. I'm just going to show you what I've got done over here. So you can see I've got I've got both. I've got this one's facing the, the, the wrong direction, and I'd say that that's the right direction. But really, it's just what works for you. So you can see how I have them both together, and I just stuck a zip tie um, through that, that fastening hole there. So there's just a zip tie through. And then you can see the final thing for the archer is, uh, for the archer, for the armature is to put the crossbar in. Now you can either, you could maybe be able to get away with printing one of these and just putting the pencil down all the way to uh, right here, or just print two, and then you can adjust the pencil to whatever height you like. So the other end is works the same way. It's just two axles and, and two wheel hubs, just like the uh, front on the back. And you can see how I have the string tied to the uh, zip tie connecting them together, okay? Now let's, let me show you the, the final thing, which is these extensions. In this model, I have two extensions installed and they alternate so that they can snap into, into themselves, but it's just a single model. So this is the only model for the extension you'll have. It just looks like this. You'll notice that it has a, a threaded receiver right here. It has an area to uh, uh, stabilize it and, and uh, uh, attach a zip tie if you need. So the way this works, I'll just take this, this apart so we can see it. Close up. Give me one second, I'm gonna cut this zip tie and we'll take a close up look. So the way the extension works, and you can see it, I'll hold it, have this in the background, is the extension snaps on to either, either your strut or another extension. So I can put another extension right here and then you print some extra wheel wheel lugs to fasten the extension and that's it so now you can make the cars 
long or short as you want. You can have uh, speed races or uh, <laughs> or whatever you you know whatever you determine. Some of my future plans is to um, is to the use of a sort of an extended lug is to add a pulley system. This was my first attempt, and you can see it's got two pulleys, one smaller and one larger. And that's the, and the idea there is to take the place of having a, having an extension rod. You can think of the extension rod as just wrapping around the pulley. And the pulleys will attach together, you can see, with, uh, with bolts. So you don't print it like this, and this will um, give us the opportunity to print multiple size pulleys. So that's what's in store for the future. If you like this video, and if you end up printing one of these uh, 3D printed cars, then uh, make sure you hop on over to my website and leave a comment. It's mathcodeprint.com, or go to the Facebook page. It's uh, facebook.com slash mousetrapcar, and uh, leave a comment on there, or even, uh, or even if you like, upload a video showing your car in operation. And especially if you make a mod or you add something onto this, uh, then definitely you know, get in contact with me. I'll make sure I feature it either on the web page or the Facebook page um, because I'd love to see uh, someone else run this. I've only seen... <laughs> You know, myself run this and some local students. So, with the sound of my bird clock, I will leave you and let's launch it. <laughs> oh, I did something on my desk. Okay, have a great day.